join us for an unboxing of Necromunda stuff. This time we're unboxing the Delic Gangs. Yes. Which is mine. Claire's voice is very slowly coming back. It is. Um, since the one we filmed yesterday on the Van Sars. Yes. Oh, oh just uh, if you did watch the one on the Van Sars yesterday, you might have seen me unbox these. That's it finished. Both of them. It, super quick. Yeah, Thanks super quick. Yeah. I shocked myself, that's why I'm showing it. <laughs> anyway, this is about Delicies, this is about yep. Claire's Delicies. So here we have the uh, the gang cards and the dice, which we managed to get hold of. So, we shall have a look at the box. So there's the box. Yes. These have been out for a while, so... Yes, these are the last ones that came out, the last plastic set of gangers mm -hmm. that came out. Obviously, we started a little Necromunda series with the last box that came out, which was the uh, Amble box. box. Ambots. Bot Ambots. Amble box. Amble box. Amble box. <laughs> so this will be the last box that we do until they release something else. So, uh, <clears throat> or until we go to Ford World and buy some of the Ford World stuff and maybe show you that. That won't be for a little while, unfortunately, as we're not long back from Ford World. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they want to see us again because we nearly bought up, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. You have to restock before we return. Yeah. I mean, that used to be the case as well, it's not anymore, they've got that much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. There's the box, we've seen the box. Let's have a look at sprues. Can play, you can do it. There we go. That's kind of the basis. What do you reckon? Ten. Ten. Not eleven. Not eleven, not nine. Ten. Seven. One. Two, three, four, five. Ten. Ten. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no surprise oh. basis. No. Yeah, let us down this time. That, that just confused us, didn't it? Yeah, that. Especially because we were talking. Yeah. <laughs> there was the sprue. Sprue. Oh no, there's another base there. You're joking. No, there was one base over here that got caught. What is this? What? How many have we got? Yeah, there's ten more. Eleven. Oh, why? <laughs> Why is it these mystery bases? <laughs> there wasn't one in the Orlock one. Or the Cardo one. Why? Who, who knows? Why? Why? <laughs> Stop confusing us, it's not funny anymore. That, I'm sure, did that, was that on camera? Did that drop in? I, I don't know, but it was caught on there. That's not on camera then, not where your finger is. <laughs> right, so this, this... It was only when I, I moved that back this oh. way, it was... And I've not added that. I seriously have not added it. Weird. Well, there is definitely 11 bases there now, and all the hmm. others are in a box with the other bits. Weird. Okay. Yeah. The mystery of the 11 bases continues. Mm -hmm. right, there must be a reason that I've missed entirely. There's definitely 10 more. <laughs> What's going on? I'm so confused. Right, okay. Right. So is that the, the instructions? The instructions. Okay. So, the screw. so this guy's got a long rifle on there. We've got a, he's got this stave, one with a little snake head on, shock stave. We've got a flechette, if that's how you say it, pistol, a grav gun. Is that grav gun right? It's bigger than a grav pistol, but smaller than a grav gun. Right, apparently it is a grav gun, not a grav pistol, so. Last gun, last pistol even, which is massive compared to the last. <laughs> this must be the style it's in, it's just a bit smaller. It's cool. I must admit these look very different from the originals because I did yes. paint some of the originals up um, that I've got upstairs somewhere. I think I did them in green and black. Yeah. And they are a lot more lithe looking. I'd say these are the most changed of any of the sets yeah. from the originals. Um, because all the others had the coats open and everything and bare chests yeah. and, and such like. Uh, that's a hand flamer by the looks of it. I mean, I assume it's a hand flamer. It looks like a hand flamer. Uh, is that a stud pistol or an off pistol? One of the two. We've got various heads on there as well to choose from. They do, th they do look a bit like they're from the film Dark City. I'll give them that. It's cool though. Awesome sauce. Right. right, so that's enough of the sprue. 
Well, let's get the parts off to make the leader, as we normally do. Yeah. And then uh, we shall return. Okay, so this is the leader. Uh, almost exactly as he is in the book. The only thing that's quite switched around is the head. So where we've got head one, it's actually head two. It's a massive difference. Uh, then we've got 11 for the neck, 12 for the front of the body, 13 for the back of the body. Uh, 14's part of the sort of coat coming down. 15's the other side of the coat. 16 being a foot. And then we have, it just continues through to 17 being the arm, 18 being the staff, uh, 19 being the other arm, 20 being the shotgun, 21 being whatever this little bit of and piece is. Uh, that's what it looks like there. I don't know whether it's meant to be stims or something, I don't, I'm not sure. And then we also, she's going, she actually wants the daggers on as well and the holster. So you have literally all those parts there. So, looking at the instructions, Obviously we're going to start, that's the back, and that's the front, and then that's the neck. So a bit like if you saw the Van Saar video, the neck's going to go in to there, and then the front's going to go on, and then the head can go on to that. So that's going to be stuck together. Then we have the two sides of the coat, which I assume just go together like that. And just the foot. There. there. There's the foot. And that seems to suggest that, that goes on to that little bit there. Which is fine. So I'll go ahead and put those two parts together and then stick the body onto the and then we shall return. Okay, so there we are. That's where we're up to. Pretty easy build so far, not a problem. So it does say in the instructions to put this bit on next, um, and that attaches around the waist. I think you meant to put this on first because then it's easier to get get it on, and then put all the arms on. So we're going to attach that on first. Then we need to attach the two hands there and there to their arms. And once they're set, I'll put them on the body, and we also need to put on the knives and the gun and attached to its base so as long as there's no issues uh, we'll come back with a finished model so let's return at this point there there we are and just show you that part 21 on because actually from the drawing it shows it going on the other side where it clearly actually hooks up with that breathing apparatus that it's got and the pipe goes around that side so that must go on that side and there we go. And the other version, because there's always two versions on these sprues, of this body does show it on the correct side. So it's a little bit misleading on where it's actually put, but uh, not too difficult to find, figure out. And easy to go on. Oh, no problem. So, I shall see you in a moment. Okay guys, so there is the leader. Done. Vaulted the position of the, heart, the arm, so he's pointed upwards instead of down. Went together really easily. Looks like these are good multi-part models, as far as the arms go. We're about to test that theory with one of the um, bodies next. We're going to switch around one of the bodies with actually the same body as the, the same lower body as this one, the female upper torso. So these are the two champions. Mm -hmm. So we have um, one with a grav gun. Grav gun. And stiletto knife. Which is this one. So we've got the stiletto set again. Yeah. Um, because of the way he's holding gun. It's a, a single-handed gun, but he's holding it with both hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's got one hand underneath cradling the gun. And this is going to go together pretty much like the actual model. Uh, have you changed the head around? Uh, no, I've kept the head. Because it looked awesome anyway, the head. Right, cool. And um, the other one? The, the other one um, is um, a long rifle and last pistol with mono sight. So the last pistol is going to be holstered. Monocyte's going to be in the hand, long rifle's going to be on the back, and um, we've also got the bio scanner actually, because it looks cool. Yeah. And it also means that you can, you can upgrade the model later on. So these are going to be the two champions. I've used head number eight for this one because I thought it looked the most female. Most female. Yeah. It looks very thin. Yeah. Although they all do, I just thought it looked a little more slightly, female. Slightly more feminine. Yeah. Yeah, not as far as. So these look like they go together very similar, so we're going to switch these bodies around. 
and see how that works. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else really to say. Uh, the long rifle's going on the back, uh, which is cool, because there's mm -hmm. a few weapons in this set which are like back weapons. I think there's a shotgun and an auto pistol as well, which is great for giving people pistols and then like a secondary weapon option. Yeah. So I quite like that idea. Uh, so, and also I was going to say, they go together quite well on the connections, because at the wrist we have the almost like this L-shaped connection on there, which slots into the arm. So they go together really easily. And I do prefer the way the weapons, well, all these weapons, like they are, rather than having it like the Vansar, where the, the part weapons. I mm. prefer that. You know, the Vansar kit was very good. Um, it's definitely up there as one of the back kits. This, however, could be... Well, we'll see how it goes together before I rate it <laughs> amongst the other kits. But I'll put these two guys together. If there's anything... Issues or anything a spot come back in between otherwise we'll be back in a moment with two champions. Okay, so let's have a look at the champions. So there is Gravgun Guy. Cool. Gone together pretty well. And the biggest difference is he doesn't have a web goal look. He's got the knives instead. Which is pretty cool. Look. And then we have So come here. Yep. She's got the, she's a champion again obviously, she's got the long rifle, the mono sight, she's got a last pistol uh, in the holster which can always be anything else later on. And there's a bio scanner there, but not equipped with that at the beginning. No. It's more just some fancy MacGuffin at the moment. But it's always there if we need it. Um, the body and the legs did go together. It's not an exact match. I didn't need to do any filing and I didn't need to stick any putty in. It has gone on. I imagine some of these you might need to file bits down a little bit or use a bit of green stuff for filler. But they do go together pretty well. Uh, obviously, you, you could tell when you put it together though, this one, it, it wasn't designed to go together. Mm. Sure. There we go. Right, so that is. Uh, so that leaves us with the four gangers again. This crew's made up exactly the same as every crew I've, we've made, basically. Mm -hmm. We've got the leader, two champions, and four gangers. Um, so the first thing I think any ganger's going to buy during a campaign would be a juve, and then a ganger, then a juve, and so on. Uh, so this one, shotgun, web gauntlet. Uh, is that it on that one? Shotgun and web gauntlet, yeah? Yeah. And this one's got a last pistol, stiletto knife. Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. And then we've got another, we've got the one special weapon that our gang is allowed to have which is the long rifle and a last pistol and a last pistol as well so there and the last one's got the flechette pistol and stiletto knife which is cool so we're going to go ahead and stick these guys together uh, they should go together pretty similar if there's any issues I'll be back otherwise we'll come back with these four guys finished and the gang done okay so this uh, body here is a three part of body so I stuck the front part on then the neck part in and then put the two back pieces on to get to that stance though. Uh, also at this point it's worth noting we've had to swap around the shotgun on the first guy because uh, the shotgun itself and when when we did when we designed this before we opened the box so all I did was look at the sprue online. Okay. And I thought the shotgun didn't have a hand on it from what I could see. I thought it was like going on the back of the model like the Orthogon does, but it isn't, it's actually meant to be held, so we switched that around for an Orthogon, so we might have to do a bit of changing on the list a bit later on, might be able to afford to give one of these guys a grenade or something maybe, mm -hmm. um, so we'll have a look at that, and before we play again, we're going to explain all the gangs there and everything like that anyway, but for now, uh, we shall see you in a moment. So there we go, the last four gangers, so we have this guy here, with a flashette pistol and stiletto knife. That was pretty awesome. They were a kit these actually. Um, <clears throat> it's difficult to say which one was the best kit out of all the kits we put together. There we go. I do like that stance. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The weapons are fairly poseable um, <clears throat> as far as 
which way you want them and you can swap around the weapons with different hands and stuff like that, it's not a big problem. Bodies not quite so much, you have to cut a couple of these down uh, just to get them to fit. I like that guy with the grenade, that's cool. Yeah. He's got the pin in one hand and the grenade in the other, that's really cool. I was a bit disappointed I had to change that for an octagon, but I could probably buy him that grenade now rather than just having it as tight enough. Yeah. I, want to, I think you can't afford the choke grenade, but I think you might be able to afford any of the others now. So I'll have to have a look and see which look. ones take me so, fancy. I think you'll be webbed on. Yeah. As well. Right, so that's the Delicue Gang. I believe you're calling them. Um, the Veil of Shadows. The Veil of Shadows? I think that's a cool name. Yes. Still haven't come for name of Ivan Sarge yet. Not yet, no. I'm still, still toying, toying, with toying with a couple of ideas. Yeah, so we'll tell you the names before we play the game and what we've called our gangers as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so when you see these in play, they'll, they'll be painted and everything <laughs> as well. So that's a little bit in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. As far as scenery goes for that, I showed you the plasma conduits. Uh, that's finished. Um, we've got a little bit of scenery in a minute. We just want to show you the dice and the cards for the Delicues. Okay. Just move these guys out of the way. Get into the dice. Get into the dice. And I've got these wrapped right around it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. ah. I do hope they release the other dice. Yes. I would quite like the other dice now. I hope they re release them. Yeah. I was a fool for not picking them up, really. So, there's the... They're nice. Aren't they? Oh, um, got sort like... of marble effect. Yeah. Like obsidian. Ones. Yeah, they're quite nice, them, actually. Oh, I've changed my mind. you changed your I'm mind? I'm going to get a delicate guy. You have to be called the obsidian something. You know? <laughs> obsidian serpents. Oh, like that. oh, that's cool. Obsidian vipers, something like that. Oh, yes. Oh. That's so, a cool name. So you can't have it. You, yours is cool. Yours is copyrighted now. It's it? copyright. No one's allowed to use that name. <laughs> pay, pay me uh, copyright. I can't get this open. I've got the, I've got the uh, plastic off. Yeah. I just can't get the bloody thing off. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yeah, there. Right. What have got? These ones stuck together. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you got your box standard. Oh yeah, the box standard yeah. trousers with the delicacy and one of that. Are we gonna laminate these? Yes, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Laminate the gang cards. Okay, so take a look at the uh, tactics cards. So we have forward planning, um spiked drinks. Hidden Blade, uh, Service Tunnels, Opening Volley, Wrong Again, History of Violence, mm. Ooh. I can't see that one, Distorting, Disorientating Surroundings. So that one 22. Yeah, Dirt on You. Banish, Perfect Disguises, Over Here, Ghostly, Labyrinth, Darkness Descends, Friend or Foe, Faceless, Eyes in the Dark, Cool, uh, Dancing Shadows, Assassins. Cool. Cool. Have a good look at them. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Delicate Gang card and dice. Mm -hmm. So I'll look at the next piece of terrain, which isn't specific to uh, Necromunda. But uh, also be used in Necromunda. And can also be used in 4K. And so, if anyone probably guessed, to go with the regulators, we have some. Plasma conduits. Very cool. Star Trek y. <laughs> so, these, this is the plasma conduit box set. Uh, that is the back. 
Let's see what components you get in there. The rules are included apparently. Or in the other one, so I don't see why they wouldn't be here. I've been eyeing these up for a bit, and I'm thinking, what do they need pipes for? And then now we've got Necromonda. Mm -hmm. Lots of things to hide behind, is the answer to the last question. Yes. Uh, and very cool looking terrain tie behind as well. See what we've got. We have some pipes. We have more pipes. More pipes. So that's the same as the first sprue. Sprue, yep. And that one's the same as the that's second that. sprue. So we've got two, two of each sprue to look at. Okay. Okay, this looks like it's going to be pretty complicated. Oh, I said that last time, the <laughs> and it, it wrong, was wrong. Yes. So I was like, really? So one and two, three and four, five and six, apparently got together to make three pipes though. And then seven and eight, 19 and 20, 18 and 17, 21, 22, all go together. That's it, isn't it? Those are two page instructions. And then at the bottom we've got 25 and 24. And then we have the little carry on fuel cells, whatever these are meant to be. These don't get glued in, they sort of like fit in, and then they can come out. Ah. So they make actually pretty good sort of objectives if you were trying to steal like fuel cells. That's clever. You know, people run up to go, and then put on the base of the model. And I quite like that actually, that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll take a look at the rules for these when we've put them together. But for now, we said it's one and two, which is where on this? Um, I think it's the one with the fan on. So that one there, that one's number one. Are they numbered? Yes. Oh, there they are. And the one on here, this one here, is number two. So there's a one on here as well. So there's the two of those then? Yeah, there's... That one's one, that one's two. Right, and so then there's... One on there as well. That one's one. That one's two. And that one's two? Yeah. So those two yeah. are going to go together. And three and four. Um, four is that one, I believe. This one. No, four is that one, sorry. And this one. Uh, which one's? And then five and six. Five's on here. That, that one's five. Yep. Um, six must be on there somewhere. Well, that one's six. So that's six one. and that's three. So six and three are opposite each other. Right. Yeah, so two and four are opposite each other. We will cut these off and put them together. I wonder how multi these are. Yeah, because it doesn't show you putting the feet on any of these. Please read through the instructions carefully before assembling. Well, kind of out. Right. Let's assemble it as it says, and then we'll see where we're up to. So we'll put all these parts together as it says. I suspect we then have to choose where the feet go on, because it doesn't actually show them in the instructions. Yeah. We'll just show them on the back, obviously. You can see that there's two under each of these pipes, just to steady it. And it looks like you can stick some of these things together as well. So we'll put them together as it says in here and see what we're left with. I think that's the best course of action. We shall return in a moment. Okay guys, so we've got a good look at these. So literally you can put these together how you want. You have these small uh, stands and they lock into place. They're not gonna stay there. I suppose if, if you were gonna knock the board, you could just assemble it like that. You wouldn't need to glue it. Or you could blue tack it. Or you could maybe even put magnets in if you want, that way inclined. Uh, I'm gonna glue them because uh, I want to, uh, but you can put them together anywhere you want really. So you, 
you get these parts here and then you get basically one of these parts and that will go on there and you may have noticed I've actually switched around two of the parts as well so that bit should have looked like that as you saw earlier but what I did was I decided to prise two of them apart <laughs> after <laughs> cleaned them and stick them like that just see if they go and they do go so you can stick these uh, pipes together in pretty much any way you want and then you can stick them on here pretty much any way you want so you can have them like that then you can stick that on the end or you could stick that like that like so and have that on the end or you could extend it so there's two of them or you can actually even stack them which I'm sure you on this if it slides across you can stack them as well a bit like that so you can have a two high pipe and then you can either attach these bits in or attach them on to the end these little broken bits so that could go on that and then the top ones are broken and the bottom one you could leave and you could have it so it connects around so you can pretty much put these pipes together as you wish so I'm going to go away uh, and stick them together as I wish I might even get another set <gasps> oh. so there's tons of pipes around <laughs> could be quite interesting uh, at different heights as well mm -hmm. a bit like that one so that's how they go together really so if you want to do one, you just lock. That. It does actually just really lock into place. As like I said, it'll, if you don't move it, it'll stay like that on the board. So you, you don't need to glue it if you're not going to knock it. It'll just stay on. But obviously, as soon as you lift it off, off it comes. <laughs> you can, so it can go like that. So look pretty much however you want to put it. So uh, that's the bonus scenery. But there is a secondary bonus Ooh. unboxing if you've stayed this long. Well done. <laughs> this is another Necromunda one. It'll be the last Necromunda we do for, until they release something bigger for it. Or I said, like, we go to Nottingham. So, so while we're in Nottingham, Claire cool, picked up this dude. Just kind of kicked it all off. Yep. So this is the Eros... Uh, is it Slag Mist? Slag Mist, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Ford Road one. With Wok on his head. Completely Wok. He is not in any way from Star Wars. No matter what <laughs> anyone says. He looks nothing, absolutely nothing like the Star Wars Ben. Uh, okay. The one from Rebels. Yeah, I don't even know what you're No, about. I don't know. No. Never heard of Star Wars or Rebels. No, no. I don't know what you're on about. Um, <clears throat> um. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> why not? Uh, so, we're going to open this up. Yes. Why open this up? I think the rules in there as well. Or... No, the rules are in there. I'm just going to have to get them out. Very careful. Yes. So, yeah, it was class fault, really, because she wanted that model. But all this kicked off. Yeah. And the, the neck of the buying spree started. I'm going to have to go away and get some scissors because I'm struggling a little bit. Okay, so. Here we have the uh, insert, mm -hmm. uh, base, uh, modern and accompaniments. Pretty easy to put together, it's mainly this big block of model. So we'll be cutting that off its sprue and get rid of all these little bits which are hanging on as well using a knife. And we'll be taking off these ones as well. And then we're going to give it a good rinse and then we'll come back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It looks like we've got... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh cool! Okay. Alright, so you actually get the bounty hunter card in that. So if we laminate that, that would be pretty cool. Bab! That's yeah. awesome! Yeah, all the rules are on there. And what's so that's how you put it together. Pretty straightforward. Uh, Oh, so you got all the blurb about him as well. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. It's worth keeping these, actually. Um, oh, we'll keep that in a little pack, packet keep or something. Safe, keep yeah. it secret, keep it safe. So I'm going to give these a rinse, cut them off the sprues, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're back. These are the components. Pretty simple to clean up. Um, again, we'll just stick him on his base, which is there. Nice one, random base. You can go on there. And we have the two hands, 
they just go into those slots and the hat goes on top although it is quite a large hat so for painting reasons you may want to paint the hat separate I'm going to paint the hat separate because I think it would be hard to get into his face with it being so quite low down yeah it does um, just come quite far forward so so yeah we'll leave the hat off yeah the colour to paint it um, and we'll stick the rest together okay guys so there he is so when you do stick the hat on these two little dots at the front that's the front <laughs> and then you got this big black this blocky bit at the back that goes at the back and that's just going to sit on there when it goes on but Claire wants to paint it with the half, I don't blame her to be honest, he does cover a lot and it'd be really fiddly to get in, but there he is, he looks awesome so next time you see him, he should be painted and on the table, so yes. I'm going to make him a priority yes she's going to paint him before she paints anything else I think so yeah yeah I just like the look of him, he looks awesome so I have glued these while I was waiting for that to set so that's like one of the pipes yeah. that's yeah. one of the other pipe systems the and I've done that on the double pipe system there. So we've got these nice long uh, either cover or line of sight blocking. Then we've got the two little corner pipes. And I didn't show you these. These, these are the canisters that go in here. And literally they do fit in. So they'll stay in and then you can just pull them out like that. And they'll lock in place. You know so that, that is like. cool. So that's cool. So there's two of those like that. And then the other two of the canisters. And I've got those left over so they can go like scatter terrain or something. I'll figure something out with those. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this Necromunda video. Definitely enjoyed making it. Mm. Definitely enjoyed putting these together. I'm going to get some more pipes. Because they're cool. <laughs> um, and I don't know when the next Necromunda video will be because we're going to paint everything up before we mm. play it because I want the full Necromunda experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, it shouldn't take too long to paint the gang. It shouldn't because it's not small. it didn't small. take long to paint those reactors, those well, regulators. Mm. Um, so it shouldn't take too long to paint the pipes and anything else we might get. In fact, if we do get some more scenery, some games work scenery, we might do an unboxing for that. <gasps> Ooh. We'll, we'll see if I get any. <laughs> Cool. Not quite decided yet. I don't even know what I need yet. So I'm going to go away and have a think about that. Mm -hmm. But as for this video, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Put in the comments what you want to see us do with Necromunda or anything else for that matter. Uh, and stay tuned for more goodness. In the background, Carnivale is sat here. I've painted the tower that you may have seen us put together, just as an update. Um, it's sat at the back of all this rubbish. I'm not sure you right now, but it's done. So I'm up to date with the painting on the Carnival Valley. There is a church to unbox and put together and the, the actual canal sides and stuff. So that's going to be an unboxing that's coming forward from TT Combat. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, that's about it for now. Yes. So, oh, Gangs of Rome. Gangs of Rome. We have the second edition of Gangs of Rome. Yes. Yes, so that will be coming as well soon. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. So, again, please like and subscribe. See you guys later. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.